Damn, I took a bad loss on Didi, man. This is a learning lesson, man. Negative 30%. But we're going to get into what happened, why I'm just canceling out my shares. I don't care right now. It was only a 1% bet, but we're going to get into my decision and why I did it, man. But yes, I learned a lot from this 30% loss. So let's get into it. So before we get into the video, guys, can you please like this video, subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be providing you with so much new content, man. So come on, please like it. Help me get to a thousand subscribers. Click the subscribe button right now. So remember back, this is November, last month, basically, when the whole DD fiasco, the whole delisting situation was happening. So the stock was trading around $8 and then it crashed because of the news of the delisting. And that's when I bought. I bought around like what, 780 around that mark. And my hope, my thesis, DD was gonna privatize its business at like $14 cause it was trading around like 780 when I actually bought in. So that's what I was hoping for. And remember, this was just the rumor. So let's get into the video I actually made about this happening. This is back in November. So let's watch it. Pretty private. The private price is like $14. And look, DD selling at seven, seven eighty-eight. So that's what I was seeing. Remember, this was just a rumor that they're gonna privatize the business for $14. So I bought it at this price, hoping that what the rumor was actually what, what the rumor was saying was gonna be true. And that's a lesson you guys can't do anymore. Warren Buffett used to actually do this. He used to do these deals when a stock was about to like get privatized or get bought out. He would actually buy into it, but he actually knew the price. He knew what was going on. It wasn't a rumor anymore. It was solidified. So all he had to do was actually wait for the deal to happen to actually go through. But no, what I did was actually just bought the rumor. The rumor was that they were going to buy out for $14 or go on to the Hong Kong Stock Exchange. And guess what happened? They are going to go on to the Hong Kong Stock Exchange. And we don't really know what price it's going to be, which is a little risky because I don't even like the stock, to be honest. I was just hoping for that huge run up in the share price. So look what I was still guessing. So I'm saying that you can get an easy double right here. There's the easy, nice, straight up double if they go private. But maybe they don't go private, so that's the risk. They might I knew the risk. That's why I had a 1% bet, even lower. So that's what my head was at because this was just a rumor. Not actually go private. The next risk is that they said they might switch their shares. They might do an IPO in the Hong Kong Stock Exchange. Then cancel the U.S. stock exchange, and then you can switch your shares over to the Hong Kong stock exchange. But that's like probably less likely. I'm not sure if that's ever been done before. Like I'm not even sure this has ever been done. So, and that's what I was assuming that they've never done that, man. It's Didi's not even listed in Hong Kong. So for them to be able to do this, it's never really been done. So I was thinking like that can't happen. The more realistic option was going for fourteen dollars and getting privatized. But bam, that did not happen, man. So I just cut my losses. And this kind of article stemmed it. DD blocks employees from selling shares indefinitely. And this is what's going to happen. I feel like once this happens and people actually sell their shares, this thing is going to crash way, way more because they're locking their employees in into holding DD shares. Even though December 27th was the last day that employees, people who used to work at DD were able to like release their shares, sell their shares off, but the government is literally stopping that for now. So what's going to happen when people are allowed to, to sell off their shares? This thing is going to crash like crazy before the Hong Kong stock listing. So I think the Chinese government wants the Hong Kong stock listing before they're able to release their shares because people already took a 60%, 70% haircut on these shares when it got released as an IPO for like $14, $12. So people are desperately trying to sell their shares right now. So that's why I sold my shares. I sold my shares because of this article kind of, but more importantly, I sold my shares because tax loss harvesting. I had an amazing 2020. I had an amazing 2020. And the fact that I had an amazing 2020 is that I'm trying to cut as much losses so I can put onto that tax burden that I'm going to have. And the last date for that is actually Wednesday. So 
Wednesday is the last cutoff date to actually do your tax harvesting. So I made sure to do my tax harvesting on DD before all that takes place. So those are basically my two reasons for selling off DD. But we still have to remember that the Hong Kong listing can still succeed. What if DD actually lists on Hong Kong and actually does well? That could still be a possibility. So in my opinion, maybe I sold my shares way too early because I'm not waiting for the Hong Kong listing and seeing what that does. So people who are still holding DD, hopefully you guys make it out, make it good money on it. Your stock doubles. Who knows? Because I still feel like that's a possibility. Remember, DD owns, owns like 90% of the ride hauling in China. That's still a crazy amount. But in my opinion, I'm just going to sell out because I want to do the tax loss harvesting this year instead of waiting for the next season. So I took a 30% haircut. It was, at the end of the day, it's actually a positive thing. This is a learning lesson. The learning lesson comes from not buying on rumors. Like Buying on rumors will kill you in the stock market. So that's what I knew the risk. I knew the risk going in. You can see my old video. I knew the risk that was going to happen if the deal doesn't make it through the privatization, the $14 privatization deal. So that's the risk I was taking when I bought into Didi. And that's why I made it a, like a non, like a non-threat bet on my portfolio. So guys, what do you think of what's happening in the market? The DD fiasco going on, blocking employees from selling their shares, man. Guys, can you please like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll get back to you in the next video. Peace.